Welcome everyone to another Scottish Morning 92 Top 5. This time it's my top 5 personal worst games that I've ever played. Firstly, I would recommend that if you're easily offended by swearing, please click off now because uh, good Scottish Warriors out for the day. And bad ass Scottish Warriors in. So get ready for a lot of swearing. And I hope you enjoy this personal top 5. Now number 5 was quite a tricky one to choose. But I eventually narrowed it down to this game. This game was originally for Xbox. And it is a movie licensed game. So not going to be a great game. But that's no excuse. Number 5 is Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Rings. Now I got this game thinking, oh, it's going to be based on a movie, so it might be alright, it's not going to be a great game, it's going to be rushed, and all that. No, this game was fucking horrible. I'm, I'm telling you, I walked the first fucking level, I couldn't get by the first fucking level. It says, you play as Frodo at the start, in the first level, and you're in the Shire, understandable. You have to go around and do wee side missions for everyone, going, oh, do you need your help? Oh, do you need this? Fair enough. And you don't have a sword, you have a stick. I fucking walked for at least three fucking hours doing these fucking stupid ass missions and you know what I go at the end of it? I had to leave the Shire at night time and go along a long narrow road where a fucking r dark shadow rig or whatever the fuck the names are I can't remember are coming down and you, you can't avoid him you fucking can't avoid him so I ended up using a glitch very I came across about a dozen glitches while playing this game on that first fucking level I ended up having to climb up a fucking hill and walking along and then I fell and died. This game was fucking horrible. I ended up taking it out of my Xbox, putting it in the skates and throwing it across the room. Across, across, across the fucking room. This game was a waste of money, it was horrible graphics, horrible gameplay, shoddy controls and the fucking hobbits didn't look like hobbits. They looked like little people. So. A horrible game, number five, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. Not, very, not I would never recommend anyone to pick this game up. Okay? So, that's number five. Let's go into number four. Number four is a Star Wars game. Now, there are, most Star Wars games have been movie licensed. And have followed the story of the movies. But number four is Star Wars The Phantom Menace. This was the first Star Wars prequel game. And it had a lot of potential, and I mean a lot of potential. The graphics, fair enough, were decent. Decent for the time. But it's no excuse for the shoddy gameplay and the piss fucking poor controls. I'm telling you, these controls were horrible. I tried to jump, the guy jumped, and then he fell to a pit. It was fucking horrible. Horrible. So much fucking problems I came across in this game. I go to a boss battle. I spent two fucking hours on this boss battle. The first fucking boss. You have to... It's, a, it's like a fucking... It's a luggage fucking sorter. It freaking had long arms. Kept spinning the fucking room. Same thing fucking over and fucking over. I hated it. And you had to hit a red... That's fucking eyeball. I went and hit this fucking eyeball for nearly up two hours. It was killing me. And when I finally killed it, I was like, oh, thank fuck, I finally got back. Now I just need to jump over there. I'd done a double jump. And I brought it up and died. And I had to do the whole thing over here. I did exactly what I did with Lord of the Rings. Put it in this pillar and threw it in a fucking horse room and never touched it again. That, those, that game was horrible, shoddy controls. Your character didn't do what that fucking was. Ugh! It was fucking horrible. Ugh! Let's move on to number three now. Now number three was actually a bit of a tricky one. Should this game be number three? Because it wasn't a horrible game, but it was a fucking bad game. And the game is... Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. Now if you don't know about this game, Spy Hunter is an old arcade game where you were basically playing a spy car, fucking souped up, car with gadgets, flamethrowers, rocket launchers, it shapeshifted into a fucking bow into a, 
a motorcycle, and fair enough, they got that concept in this game, okay. But do you know what they felt like adding? They felt like adding first person st FPS elements and melee combat with The Rock, sorry, Dwayne Johnson. And did it work? No, it fucking didn't. The character models were fucking horrible in my opinion. They were not the worst I've ever seen. They actually looked like the actors and actresses they were trying to portray. But what the fuck is going on with the voices? The fucking what's like, I'm going to stop you now. I'm going to stop you now. I shake shift. Fire. And the fucking rock does a rock bomb in it. That is kind of fun. He does the rock bomb and a spinning buster. Fair enough. He does that. That's, that's quite good. But the shooting element was never, should never have been in this game. You take cover, you try and shoot, and that doesn't fucking work. You, the guys are the other fucking invincible. And oh my fucking god. Ah! I, I eventually completed the game after like three days of being pissed off at it. Now, don't get me wrong, the driving element in it, they nailed pretty much on the spot. But, the, but I had to give it the number three shot just for the sheer fucking frustration of this game and how they fucking tried to do something and failed fucking miserably. So that gets my number three shot for that fucking reason. If you want to go pick the game up, I, I wouldn't say don't pick this game up, but just don't expect a fucking experience. Number two. Now, I had to get a PS3 game on this list for the main fact that there have been pr some pretty shit PS3 games. I don't have a PS3 anymore, but I do have my Xbox, and I love my Xbox. But number two is... Uh, Fall of Liberty. A first-person shooter what-if story. Now this had so much fucking potential. So much. And you know what the story in this game was? What if Winston Churchill had died before he became Prime Minister or when he visited New York? And you know what happened? The Nazis basically won World War II. The Nazis fucking invaded England. They took over, they invaded everywhere, and they come over to America, and who do you play? Do you think, I might play a civilian, I might play a military guy, I might play a, a prisoner, prisoner, prisoner of war. Guess who you play? You play a construction worker. I ain't kidding you. And you know how you get a gun the first time? A Nazi falls and gets stuck in the rafters, and you literally punch him to death. And then you get a gun. And then you shoot Nazis. Yeah, you shoot Nazis, and your character doesn't speak, he's a mute, of course, in these first person shows, every character's a mute. And, oh fuck, you, the graphics in this had so much fucking pressure, the PSV for fuck's sake, the PS3, I will give it that, it runs on blu rays and if a game is built for PS3, the graphics are fucking outstanding, I will give them that. But, but were these graphics outstanding? No, they were fucking horrible. The, the textures were fucking naff. The character models looked like fucking Nintendo 64 characters. They was fucking horrible. And another thing, you, you walk into this resistance base, meet the leader, and he acts like he's fucking known you his whole life. He's like, right, I trust you implicitly. Go and destroy this Nazi base for me, okay? And you're going, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Even though I've just met you, I trust you with my life. I'm like, what the fuck? Would you trust someone you just met with your life? No, you wouldn't. And then the aiming controls were fucking horrible. You tried to shoot Nazis, you tried to blow up a tank, you get a three shot fucking rock launcher, which I must admit was pretty cool. But you try and shoot with this thing and you can't hit anything. You have to aim like four times ahead, four feet ahead of the fucking target you want to hit, fire it, and then you have to fucking cross your fingers, stick them up your ass, and go, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. And it, 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 ninety percent of the time, it doesn't hit. So fuck this game. It can go fuck itself. And you know what the ending is? Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Don't know what the ending is. You get aboard um, a Nazi super fucking Hindenburg shit thing. They're going to drop a nuclear bomb on New York. A nuclear fucking bomb. And you know what you get, your character does? He stops, he makes the ship crash, he stops, he manages to disable the ship, but he can't disable the bomb, so you know what he does? 
sits right next to the bomb and goes that's it that's the ending it was horrible absolute shit never pick this game up okay now I've ranted and raved on about my top four so far let's get to the number one slot now what game could possibly be more worse than any of the games that I have mentioned here? What game could have had such shitty graphics, poor audio speech, shit fucking voice actors, character models will look like shit, story was pretty much horrible? What game could possibly take the number one slot? Oh I know, the Xbox 360 version of Two Worlds. Now, if you're a Two Worlds fan, you might want to go away now. But Two Worlds was an RPG that I luckily enough didn't buy. I got a loan from a pal after I gave him a loan of Mass Effect. Was that a fair trade? No. Luckily enough, I got Mass Effect back, he got Two Worlds back, I said, never watched up to the game again. This game, basically, you play. Uh, basically a guy whose family turns out to be the only people who can touch some ancient relic to bring back an ancient force of evil and to ensure that you do this they kidnap your sister and you have to, your, your whole goal through the entire game is I have to save my sister and the only way I can do this is getting these artifacts to give to these people to save her yeah that's it that, that's the whole story and your character's like, oh, 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 I must save my sister. The character models are like that. The, your main character looks like, um, what's, what's, what the fuck's his name, uh, Sloth from Go Goonies. No offense to Sloth or Goonies fans, but he's, he's kind of like, oh, fuck, take me that, he's kind of like, oh, 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 He's fucking like that. He looks horrible. And the voice actor is... The voice actor does a decent job with him. But the guy's left on me. There's like, huh. I ain't doing that. I just thought I saved my sister. That's fucking horrible. And, oh my... Oh, the story was so fucking repetitive. Go to this place. Get this relic. Get this relic. Get this relic. Dress up in an orc and go and get this relic. Fucking horrible. I glad I didn't waste money on this. I'm fucking glad I didn't. I would recommend no one ever pick this game up. This game is an abomination. You the, the, the texture pops and like in most RPGs you can loot anything, can't you? Oblivion, you can loot everything if you've got enough stealth, nobody cares. Mass Effect, you can loot everything and nobody cares. Dragon Age, you can loot everything and nobody cares. This game, you just talk to someone and say, I'm here to help you, and then you go over to a, 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 one of their suitcases that has unlocked, open it up, take something out, and try to walk away, they fucking attack you. And you fail the quest because you have no choice but to kill them. And the combat in the game is no help. You try and use a sword and try and hit them, they move, the, the sword fucking spazzes out. You try and fire a bone arrow, fail. You try to use magic, this whole thing is fucking successful. Fucking horrible game. Absolutely atrocious. Fuck this game. All these games in my list, don't waste your money on them, okay? So, let me just get out of this badass Scottish Warrior mode for a minute. Let's get back to good Scottish Warrior. Right. Now, that's my personal top 5 worst games ever. Now, let me know your top 5 worst games ever. You can either push the, put the list in the comment down below, or if you want, do a video response to this and tell me your top five worst games ever and your reasons why. So this has been Scottish Warrior 92 with my top five worst games ever. I hope you enjoyed it and if you agree with my top five, click the thumbs up button. If you don't agree with my top five, click the dislike button. If you want to see more, more videos like these, please don't hesitate to click, up this, click the subscribe button above my head and I'll see you all later.